Eat this! Hi there guys, Joe the Pet here, and today we are taking a first look at Skylander's Trap Team, and we're playing this at E3. We got lucky enough to go to E3 and Activision let us uh, record some of the gameplay early of the new characters. And this is Food Fight. He's a core Skylander, he's live Skylander. He's a, basically a little avocado with a gun that shoots tomatoes, and he also does little mines, like a little avocado mines, it looks like. But let's go ahead and just shoot around and see what we find. And okay, there's a little bomb over here. Let's see if that's for. Okay, that's for that right up ahead, so. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn back around and we'll go get that. No, oh, turn around. There we go. Alright, and let's go ahead and get this and go open this door so we can progress further in the level. There we go. From Chompies. Wolfgang. All right, so here we have Wolfgang. You may have heard of him. He's a rocking werewolf with a harp as a weapon. He does this uh, rock slide, and then also he uses his harp as a melee weapon, and he shoots notes as well from it. So he's got three different attacks. Very versatile character. Let me just go in the sewer low over here and see what's in here. I think I found the secret. Yep. Uh, let's shoot back the food fight. And it looks like we need that bomb again. So let's go back up. Go back out here first, and then let's go jump on this bouncy pad. And then head over to the left, and make our way back down around town. So we can get that bomb and get and see what we get on the little secret passage we found. So like I said earlier, he doesn't move very fast. So I'm gonna see if I can move faster with uh, with Wolfgang here. Do a little rocket slide. It seems it seems like it goes a little quicker, but at the same time, you know, you kind of stop for a second. So okay, so we got through this, and we got a treasure chest. It looks like. So let's go ahead and mass that, and smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. Wow, you gotta smash this a lot. Come on, there we go. Give it all that money. Alright. Let's change back to food fight real quick. And let's go back outside and up and see what else we find on the level. So they're a pretty good combo. Usually, if you notice, there's a little bar on the bottom. The uh, the villains, they have a time limit. I think it's like 30 seconds or something at the most. And... I got the edge. Alright, so here we are with Crypt King, and his big attack is uh, shooting those bees out. And man, they, they go to town. They do a lot of damage. I mean, of course, he has this Traptanium sword, which is awesome and really big. And uh, let me just go and do this puzzle real quick and stop that slime from coming down. If you see the arrows, I'm walking towards the arrows, so it turns this off. So that's how you get across that right there. But he's got this huge sword. He moves really slow, but he hits really, really hard. I imagine. Look at that. Whoa. So they have these new puzzles here. And they're just like the puzzles from... Uh, Giants, pretty much, except they're a little different because he has rockets. The little guy has rockets, so let's move forward and try not to hit the, uh, you know, the flames. That's always bad. See, don't hit the flames like I'm doing. Don't do that. That's bad. And, and go down there. And this one, you just have to get the water. And I wanted to see what would happen if you extinguish all the flames. And. I don't think anything happens. Oh, I missed one. Oh well. So open sesame. I rule. I rule. I like that. Run, 
Wang. Another outsider? We hadn't seen anyone since we locked ourselves away during the great germ outbreak centuries ago. But lately, all these mutant monsters showed up and naturally confirmed our suspicion that the outside world was destroyed. Wait a minute. You may be carrying germs. You're unclean. Ha ah! <laughs> ha, funny little fish man. I'm a Skylander, I don't have germs. Broccoli guy. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna bring in Broccoli guy here. Uh, whoa. There you go. Switch back and forth so he, he can cast that glyph there, which heals. So you can do that, and he'll also shoot too. Let's see what's up here. Enemies, beware. Uh, this is just pizza here, but this is a demo, guys. This isn't the final game, so they may actually have that something else where that pizza is, like a legendary treasure or something like that. But I, I like exploring. That's kind of just who I am. Uh, something else to keep in mind. Uh, whoa! I can breathe fire. That's awesome. Oh, okay, that's the B thing. I just hadn't seen it from that angle. That's really cool. But something else to uh, note, you, the villains, when you chop the villains, they have their own secret uh, missions that help them level up. So they're not like the Skylanders where you just gain experience throughout the game. Like, all the experience you get from the villains go to the Skylander. I might have overreacted back there. You're different somehow. In fact, there's something vaguely heroic about you. And you haven't tried to steal our green goo like the other mutants. But you're probably still crawling with germs! Ah! So you'll find the secret uh, missions for the villains spread out all over the game. And that guy back there that was cowering, that may have been a mission for one of the villains. I don't know. Because I only have uh, a few of the villains uh, right now. Right now I'm playing with Broccoli Guy. And right now he's just jumping and I'm trying to shoot at him and see, see what he's like with his attacks. But he doesn't last very long. Like I said, you know, they only last for a limited time, 30 seconds or so. And see that meter at the bottom? That's the cooldown. So once it gets filled back up to halfway, then I can summon that villain again. But it had to have at least a halfway. And you can actually, I guess, control the sword. You can, like, shoot it out and control it. Bringing the heat. And now we're playing as Wildfire which is one of the new Trap Masters. And just playing around and see how he handles. He's pretty big with that shield. All right, so let's move down here with Wildfire. Whoa, you did like a ground pound down. That was awesome. Jeez. And I can breathe fire. Yeah. That's so awesome. Nice. Wildfire's boss. Wildfire is pretty awesome. All right, so let me just jump over here. Wait for this platform. No, don't go back. That's backwards. Wrong way. Wrong way. Yep. Nope. Jumping the wrong way. Let's go back over here. I just I can't get back over there. <laughs> God dang it. There we go. All right, so let's make our way over here and get across. And fight these guys. Oh, this is a little puzzle. Okay. So let me just align that to where the orb goes this, this way. Switch that that way. Yeah, we, there we go. Alright, so let's go over here. There's a little fence. There's a secret area, it looks like. Yep. So let's see what's back here. Oh, that's slime. Don't hit it. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Coming through. Excuse me. Oh, whoa. 
loads of chompies. There's something. There we go, walking on air. I like that ground pound down with the shield. That's so cool. We go over here and see what we got. Looks like another treasure chest. Yes, it is. Just mash, 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 R2. Yeah. Lion share. Oh yeah, lion share. Oh, yeah. oh the monies. Alright, I'm just gonna fall back down here real quick. And fall in and jump back over. Get back to where I'm supposed to be, and then we're gonna just go through here. I feel like there's something else. <laughs> Hammer it home! This time we're looking at Wallop, who is another trap master. You see his huge maces. Those are traptanium weapons, so that's how he helps trap the uh, the bad guys, the villains. So you gotta watch out for these. Oh, look, see, so you can throw these and you can clash them together. So cool! I love I love this falling little mini game thing that they have. So awesome! All right, so there's gonna be a bunch of chompies coming. Let's go ahead and uh, take them out. Wow! Made sword work of them. See, but he throws both the maces and they fly, and then you press a button and it closes them together. Bam! It's awesome. Or you can just like pound them if you want to, like just up close. Like this. I got Wolfgang in here real quick. There we go. Let's change it up just a little bit. Let's just get big guy and see what he has. Hey, Yata. Hey, Yata time! Yeah! <laughs> Oh no! He ran out. Bring in the food. I, got, I, got, I got to let him charge real quick before I can bring him back in. How did I throw that up like that? That was crazy. What? Boom. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sludge Choppers. There you go. He really packs a wallop. Ah. Master everything! Oh, I like that you can throw that in the air. It's so cool. Crook and roll! This time around, we're using Snapshot, who is a trap master with his awesome snap bow and sword. I don't know if you want to call it that. I don't know what it's called actually. But it's a big awesome sword that kind of turns into a, a a bow. So it's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Down for the count. Buzzer Beak. Bring in Buzzer Beak real quick to help out. Make short work of these guys. He's another villain. And of course, he's a villain that's been trapped. He's got a little uh, propeller on top of him, just like uh, Chopper does. Alright, Jawbreaker, here we go. He's a tech Skylander, and. He's a trap master, of course, with the big traptanium fists of awesome. Let's skip that because we're running a little late on time. So let's use him because he's really fast. A lot of these Skylanders act as like power ups to kind of enhance and help out the bigger Skylanders, the trap tamers, the trap masters. See, like this right here, you have to pick up the bridge. Oh, wait, go back. Let me go back real quick. Nope, can't do that. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so you gotta go over here. Dino Might! And 
and Chopper is a core Skylander, and he's got little propellers, and he's got... Uh, I, I played two different versions of him. One, he had upgraded, like, heat-seeking rockets. Uh, this version of him, and I'll show you later, but he doesn't have the upgraded heat-seeking rockets yet. But he does shoot uh, individual rockets, and he does a propeller attack. So I'm going to show that to you in just a minute. Let me just get through over here. I actually find some enemies. If I remember correctly, in addition to being great warriors, these Skylanders were great puzzle solvers, too. But surely you're not a Skylander. <laughs> no, surely I'm not a Skylander. But I have to get this done real quick, and then we'll actually show some enemy gameplay. I just flip this real fast. There we go. And it should bounce over there, and bounce up, and out into the shiny rock. Nice. All right, let's jump on this bouncy pad and go. Rage mage. And this is the villain for this area. So let me just show you real quick. Uh, see, he's got a propeller and he can kind of aim the propeller and attack with it. Let's try to get one of these guys real quick with a propeller attack. It's kind of shooting rockets, but. Like I said earlier, he doesn't have the upgraded to where they're heat seeking. At least not on this figure. I played two different versions of the figure. Hey, there's a propeller attack I was talking about. And he just has a regular, you know, missile attack. So Rage Maze is the villain we're fighting right now. And he's calling in all his minions and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do in a second is switch to a different trap master. I've got the edge. We're gonna get a script king because they do better on the uh, on the villains because that's trap tanium. So right now I'm gonna do the B attack and I'm gonna try to hit him with my blade. My trap tanium blade is awesome. See, but even though he's running over there, he's kind of invincible. Even though he's getting hit, he's invulnerable. So, just have to wait for him to come back out, and then I'm gonna hit him some more. See, but those bees make short work of everything. So let's go ahead and just attack him a little bit more. There you go. See, the bees got him. Rage Mage defeated. Put a magic trap in the portal to trap this villain. I only ask that you don't let your own anger factor into this decision. See, now I can trap him if I want to, but let's just pretend I don't have a trap uh, that's a magic trap available. What's going to happen is he's going to go to the vault, the villain vault at Skylander Academy, and I can go pick him up later on if I ever get the trap. So that's really cool that they made it to where you can not have to go back and beat all the the villains again to trap them once you actually get a trap available so that's it you guys hopefully you all enjoyed this video make sure and leave a like if you did and make sure and stay tuned for more skylanders and other gameplay on the channel thanks for watching y'all have a good day and i'll talk to you later skizzle go my minions